hey youtube welcome back to my channel it is liana if you are new of course welcome so today i'm going to be teaching you how to do a sock bun and also how to make a sock bun out of socks a popular question that i get asked by my female trainees is how do i style my hair like this so if you are going to basic and you want to know how to do your hair like this or even if you're already in the military and you're just doing that little wraparound bun and you want to learn how to do a sock bun because i did not learn how to do my sock bun until i was like three years in the army already so if this is something you're interested in and something you want to see keep on watching So first I'm going to show you how to make the sock bun. This one is actually a pre-made one. Um, it looks kind of like a donut sponge that you could buy at the store and then I wrap the sock around it because when you're brushing it, like the brushes goes inside of the sponge and then it starts messing up. So this way it's just more secured. This one is made entirely from a sock or socks with uh, dressy socks. So I'm going to show you how to make this one now. So I have two pairs of dressy socks and just right here where the toes are, you wanna go ahead and cut that. Then on the bottom with that opening, you simply just want to start rolling it. And I am pulling and stretching as I'm rolling it. So as you can see, we already have our little donut shape. We're gonna go ahead, take our second sock and wrap it around and then do the same thing. Now, when you get to the end, this little flap right here, you just want to fold over and you want to use this part right here against your head when you're putting it on. So that way when you're brushing, you're brushing flat all around right here and you don't have to worry about this part lifting up. So these are the products that I use in my hair. I use hairspray gel, curling cream, oil and water. I also have edge control, our bun, bobby pins and hair ties and then the different brushes that I use. And these are the hair oils that I use in my hair. I put them in this little bottle right there and I just do one third equal parts of each. It's easier for me to brush and style my hair when my hair is wet, so I like to give it a good spray before I brush it. Now since my hair is curly and I have to brush it and put it in a tight bun every day, I like to add oil and a leave-in conditioner to add some sort of protection before I add gel in my hair. I'm going to part my hair straight back, vertically, and then horizontal. While leaving that part out, I'm hairspraying the rest of my hair and brushing it into a ponytail. With the edge control, I'm going to use it to slick down the hairs in the front. Since I'm constantly taking my hat on and off, this just helps with keeping my hair in place. When putting the bun on, make sure that the flap of the sock is towards your head. You want to lean slightly forward and fan your hair out all around the bun, making sure the entire bun is covered with your hair. I like to add gel and hairspray before adding a ponytail holder to secure it better. 
I add two ponytail holders to my hair and I'm just putting it directly over the bun. There's different ways to secure the loose hair. The first way I'm gonna show you is by brushing it around your bun with a skinny brush. Once it's all brushed, go ahead and hairspray it and use bobby pins to secure the hair. The second way, and personally my favorite way, is by splitting the hairs in half, you're gonna braid both sides, you're gonna wrap it, and then you're gonna secure it with the bobby pins. A little bonus trick to get rid of those stubborn baby hairs that are on your neck is to take a piece of dental floss and just floss straight up into your bun. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. Go ahead, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Go ahead and comment below any future videos you would like to see. Share my channel with everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye guys.